So for Love is Ink, I showed you what Full On Drama has said here. Full On Drama came to this community without speaking of sound from her voice. Pretended to be a male, born a male, and hit on straight women. Told everyone that she was born a male. Then when she got caught up in her own sexual drama behind the scenes, Randy tried to get her to just come on out and speak so we can hear you and then maybe people will understand. That's when she became a transgender. I support anybody who is trying to be what they feel like, what they wish to be. I do not support people who make a joke of sexual identities. And that's what Full On Drama was doing. She also pretended at one time to be a 17-year-old African-American boy. You can see, clearly, what she wrote. So this is why I'm not buying it. I'm not bashing her. I'm bashing the fact that she uses transgender gender identity to create controversy and play the victim on YouTube. That's what she does. I certainly appreciate your candor and you standing up for what you feel is right. But you're sadly mistaken in this particular case. What we have here is an extenuating circumstance with this particular individual. I would support full-on drama transitioning into the man that she claims to feel like if she would act like a man. And be held to the same standards that other men in this community are held to. So I hope you understand, lovers ain't Mallory. I respect you. I think you're kind of funny. And I see 100% woman in you whenever you speak or do it live. Because that's what you are. You are that. I thank you for answering questions about what it's like to make the transition so that people that don't understand do understand. But this one right here. This one right here, Mallory. Please do your research. Hopefully you and I can remain cordial because I like your content. I think you're cool. Hello, lovers. Hello, Brian St. John. Thank you for that wonderful presentation that you put together. I know that you worked hard on that. Well, I have to tell you, I had the opportunity to go through all that you put into that in detail. I watched it not once but twice and I put all that information together in context with all that I already have in my in my memory bank paired that with what I know of FOD with what limited information that I personally know of FOD as I I have not known Five that long. So I have to tell you, this information really does um, bring th some things to light. Uh, as you know, when you meet someone, uh, it, it takes time. It, it takes time to really uh, get to know someone, and uh, sometimes you don't really, you don't really. Get a glimpse into their past until they're ready to open up and uh, share that with you so this is what happens when you do have a paper trail um, a, a paper trail is very important people remember that uh, especially when you have some mutual friends and acquaintances that are willing to to share that uh, I'm not really one, I, I don't put too much, uh, too much weight into gossip. I'm really not interested in that. Uh, I really, I'm, I'm one of those people that I, you know, you know, I say half jokingly, you know, I, I'm, I'm not interested in receipts. I don't really, I don't really bring receipts. I bring the whole damn ledger. I'm one of those people. So Brian St. John did 
did produce some receipts and I really appreciate that. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, last night, I believe it was last night, I, I had went on a panel um, and I, 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 I somewhat challenged um, a few of the people on um, Republic Republicans Ash channel. Brian St. John was one of them. Um, Bombshell was another. And they, they, in my opinion, they were, they were unnecessarily questioning, um, FOD's, the seriousness of FOD's transness. Um, whether he was actually trans or not and I, I took some issue with that uh, in my mind if someone says they're trans they're trans uh, and if someone says they identify as male then they identified as male it's easier to say he than, than it than it is to say she at that point um, and then there's people on the side chat that are saying well Fa doesn't Mind if you say she, he, they, them, uh, or as long as you don't call him it. And, well, that confused me. Because that's something more of a, a non, a gender, not a non-binary person would say. Um, truly, you know, from, from all of my experience, uh, that would throw me off. I, I just... Truthfully, that would just throw me off a little bit. If someone proclaims to be male, I just can't imagine um, from all that I know and all, all the trans males that I know uh, why someone would not take on a male pro pronoun. I understand that people have different journeys. I understand that as well. Um, but still, that, that puzzles me. And I had said, um, I, I'm going to need to hear... I'd say that to add clarity. Um, until then, I, I just have to refer to him as he out of, out of um, just pure respect. Well, the truth is, last night I, I heard Fod say that. I was listening to his stream last night, as I often do. Um, and Fod said that. Literally, he said, um, he doesn't mind if you call him she, he, her, his, them, uh, etc., etc., as long as you don't call um, him the it or, I think he said something along, slightly paraphrasing, we get this wrong, the obvious, whatever that means. Um, and when I heard that, I had to say that I was... I was taken aback um, because I had just taken my ass up on to a panel and I had ch literally challenged a couple per people um, and I feel like as a trans person going going head to head um, for another trans person uh, in this case, a trans male. And then when I heard that, I was just so confused. And I don't like to be confused. When when I go on panel or when I when I take a, a public stand for trans people and um, or even just a specific trans person, because to me, if if I take that as a, a, a specific if I take that for a stand for a specific trans person, it always I always will parlay that right out, um, right out for for trans people in general. It, it will somehow be a stand for all trans people, if that makes any sense. And that did not happen because that would not apply to all trans people as I know it. That became a very unique situation for me. And when I say a very unique situation, that is literally something I have never heard of. Um, and I just would... 
I just would never, let me put it this way. I would never do that again. I will say that. That's not something I do again. In full disclosure, uh, Fod never asked me to do that. Fod never asked me to do that. I never, you know, I'm, I'm not even saying, saying that. Um, so this is not, this is not Fod's fault. This is, this is a learning lesson for me. This is a learning lesson for me. Um, Fod is on his, her, them, she, they, uh, their own journey, right? That's for them, her, she, her, to figure out. Uh, I can't, at this point in time, I, I would have loved to have taken Fod by their hand, right? I would have loved to have taken Fod by their hand and just guided them in any way that I could. Um, lended my experience in any way that I could. Um, but I don't think, I really believe um, Fod is not at the point where Fod is ready um, or willing for that matter at this point um, to reach back. I don't believe that. Um, and I just don't believe that I have, I don't believe right now that I have um, the proper experience to deal with this particular situation. Given all the information that I read, given what I've heard with my own ears, uh, I think there's a lot of confusion there. Um, I think there's probably room for professional help there. I really do. Uh, there's, there may be, there may be, um, I, I don't know if, if FOD is seeking professional help, full disclosure again. I don't know that much about FOD. Um, but based on everything that I know up until this point, everything that I've read that Brian St. John has um, brought to my attention everything that I have heard right with my own ears um, interactions that I've had uh, with FOD things that I have listened to um, and I, I've enjoyed FOD right I, I think FOD is a is a firecracker in so many ways I think he, uh, Vod is a firecracker in so many ways. I enjoy listening to the antics. I do. Um, but as far as in regards to Vod's transgender journey, uh, whatever that looks like and feels like to Vod, I can't relate to that. I just can't relate to that at this point. Uh, in the future, um, if that becomes more clear um, or more palatable to me, uh, and Fod feels like he could use any guidance, I would be more than happy to extend um any guidance that I could possibly offer but at this time I don't I just would not know how to do that so um, on that note I would like to thank Brian St. John again uh, and absolutely I would like to think that we could be more than cordial I, I think you're a, a wonderful spoken gentleman I appreciate that we you treated me last night as well as everyone on that panel uh, you all were really gracious to me, and I think your content is brilliant, and there you have it. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was my response. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, anyone that is disappointed by my response, uh, you know, I can't win them all, but this is my honest, my honest opinion, my honest thoughts. Uh, 
and I can't do any better than that. So, till next time, love, hugs, kisses, bye bye.